Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Project. We're going to look at customizing columns and using functions and then creating our own table. So first of all, customizing columns. I'm just going to right click on any column heading and go into custom fields. There are several different types of fields that I could custom or customize. Text, there are 30 text columns. This is cost, date, duration, and all these are the ones as you can see there. But I'm just going to customize three text fields. And the first one I'm going to do is one called Manager Responsible. So what I want to do with this one is create a lookup list from this button, lookup. I'm going to type three people's names, Mr. Black. And I'm going to put his phone number there, one, two, three. And then in the next one down, I'm going to do Miss White. And in the description column, I'm going to put the phone number there. And then Mr. Green. And again, I'll put the phone number next to him, just so you can see how that looks in the column. Close that box. Click OK to that. So there it is. It's called Manager Responsible or Text 1. Click OK again, and then I just need to insert that column. So insert column. Column is text one or manage responsible. And then I should have a drop down list. Now, if I just select a couple of these people, so Mr. Black. So if I select Mr. Black, you can see the extension number because it was in the same column. However, Miss White, her number can only be seen when you select the drop down list. So it's totally up to you where you put these um, phone numbers in this example. But I would normally just put that on the top level task. So if there is an issue with these tasks, you contact Mr. Black on extension 123. So this is not a resource. This is just somebody to contact if there's something going wrong with this process. So that's the first one. Second one, custom fields, text two, going to rename that as budget status. And I'm going to use a function. So from the formula option, function, and I want general, and I want the IIF or if statement. And I'm just going to do a little if statement in here, which is going to be. Now I could use, I could type these things out, but basically I want to know if actual cost. If I click on actual cost, is greater than the baseline cost, cost baseline cost and then the first baseline cost if that's true we are over budget you have to put that inside quotes then a comma open quotes again otherwise we are within budget close quotes just check that things that happen here that go wrong are people forget the quotes or the commas that looks okay so clicking okay to that okay to that and okay again and then same process right click insert column type in t for text and i want text to budget status and then you can see i'm over budget on a few of these and within budget on others now i want to edit this a little bit more because instead of saying over budget or within budget i want it to show a red face or a green face if we are within budget so I'm just going back into custom fields um, select budget status and click this option at the bottom which says graphical indicators and then select equals so if it's within budget so you have to type that exactly the same as you did in the fun in the function otherwise it won't work um, so if we're within budget, I want a green smiley face, and then if we're not, if we're over budget, I want a red face. And you could pick any one of these icons if you didn't like the faces. Red. Click OK to that. OK again. And they have now changed. So that's looking quite sad. Now... If I get one more, custom fields, and rename this one days left, I want to use a function again to show how many days left there are 
to the end of a task. So I'm going to the date time option and I'm going to date diff at the top. I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff in the middle. So the interval is the duration. So I'm going to put D for days in quotes. So days between now, and I'm using a function now, which is a computer clock and the finish, the field date finish. How many days are there between now and the finish of a task? Click OK to that. OK again. OK again. Insert the column. Right click. Insert column. Type T for text. Days left. Text 3. And then it gives you how many days left there are. Now they're showing minus numbers because today's date is past these dates so these have already gone past but if I change the start date of the project or move it all forward to today you can see some of these um, that have not been completed have now got a positive number now I want to um, save this table as a table to be used later on so I can go to tables view tables um, save fields in a new table and I call it my name Steve then okay I've already got one so I'll have to put Steve one okay on that one and now I've got Steve which is one I did earlier which is just those two columns and then I've got Steve one which has got my customized fields in so that's how you use the customized fields feature and how you can create a table of your own now I can obviously go back to the entry table and delete these three columns or hide them and if I want to go click on Steve one they come back that's the end of this module thank you for your time